part of um, my interest has come from having uh, migraines mm. because when I had migraines I would see um, a flashpoint and it would be uh, made up of abstract colours right. and shapes <clears throat> and in over the years um, my migraines have uh, subsided to virtually nothing but every now and then I still get um, the, the, the flashing lights and things like and the aura the, the aura thing right. yeah but instead of being jagged and horrible and unpleasant they, they were um, they were quite nice right. and uh, the shapes were more asymmetrical and uh, and and this was uh, I thought well if, if this is coming from my brain this this system of uh, trying to understand what my thoughts were and drawing them down on paper perhaps I could look at that and try and draw them so this is these here are like trying to draw what they look like and then take inspiration from them so I'm merging the experience of migraines with memories and things like that and then I've made artwork to do with it so um, and then I've blended them with experiences of going somewhere so this is like I know looking into a lake of um, um, with the sunlight behind you and the water um, mm -hmm. making shapes and then I've done oil paintings blending <coughs> the, uh, the geometric shapes of thought that I thought that I was having with um, seeing things in nature so swans going through a lake but then if you're in a car and you're driving past the lake fast then you sort of remember, remember sections of it and then details of it. So I was trying to capture that. So in this uh, pot of water, the water molecules aren't static, they're constantly moving around. Okay, so they've got what we call a thermal motion. And in this water, if you looked at a particular water molecule, it just kind of moves around. Uh, there's no particular preferred orientation or, or direction. So if, if you were to able to track one right at the center of this flask of water, you would see that the chances of it moving in any particular direction are the same. So if I drop in a million water molecules, on average they're going to spread out in a kind of spherical format. Now, these fibres in the brain uh, that connect the different cortical areas, like the motorways, they're similar to this kind of spaghetti. So we've got these individual strands. And you can imagine now that if you're a water molecule, it's going to be far easier to move along the long axis of the fibres than it is to go perpendicular because it's a lot more tortuous, you've got to kind of wiggle your way around. So what we can actually do with the scanner is we can uh, tune it to... And that's the stage where I'm at now and the reason I'm here today is, is to ask you if perhaps we could work together and collaborate on an idea where I bring my work and your work and we uh, assimilate it, you know, we, we merge it together and we take inspiration from each other yeah. and, uh, and then see where we go from there. Mm -hmm. Looks pretty cool, eh? Yeah. And I'm really interested in um, different technologies and, uh, and one technology, it's, it's fairly simple really, is um, engraving onto clear cast acrylic and then you uplight it. So you, right. you, you use light <coughs> as, a, as a method of describing something you know you use like to draw basically so I was thinking about taking one of your um, is, it, is it water diffusion? Is yeah. It something like that? Uh, yeah I mean these, these are sort of visualisation of the pathways taken by water molecules. Right yeah. So we're not visualising diffusion per se these are kind of stylistic representations of that. From the mass? Like, from yeah. The, yeah the yeah. mathematics of it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and it's a uh, so I was thinking, say for instance, you take this image here, and I use Photoshop to illustrate to you my idea of um, engraving this onto cast acrylic. So here's some examples. And you, you could use different colours as well. Yeah, yeah, on different layers. Uh -huh. Perhaps do more than one layer. So right. um, this is the machine that would do it. So, oh, cool. Uh, an AX. YZ router. Um, I met this machine in a factory um, at the beginning of the year. Right. And uh, I saw how it worked and I was really impressed. And uh, 
I started looking at the uh, parameters and I, I thought, yeah, there's something I can do here, there's something I can bring together for my work and your work and uh, merge them together. I've been looking at dyslexia and it's organisational skills, so what I do is I break everything down and I put it into pictures and uh, I then try and bring together my way of putting memories together. And Who's that guy in that in the picture? That's John Williams looking at the artwork. Okay. <laughs> so he, that's him in the room, and it, this is like uh, me imagining my thoughts going around, and then words integrated into that, and uh, the little orientation symbols, with right. the uh, LED lights, and yeah, the, those lights, and all the elements he was talking about, like. Um, he mentioned the Barbican, for instance, and uh, I didn't know they collaborated with them and the Work and Trust collection yep. and things like that. So as a memory, I'm trying to input it all into here. This is like one of the diagrams you were showing me in terms of, you know, some of the, the connections. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so as a drawing, like drawing the connections between my memories of multiple, what we learned in that meeting. Just yeah. press it. So I'm then just carrying it on forward. This would be our estimate. Condense it down into...